She is seven and she loves the music. Yeah. And every generation get into the Beatle music. Yeah. You know why? Because it's great. Ringo Starr is an English musician, singer, songwriter, and actor who gained worldwide fame as the drummer for the Beatles. He occasionally sang lead vocals with the group, usually on one song on each album. He's also had a long solo career. On November 11th, 2004, he was inducted as part of the Beatles into the UK Music Hall of Fame for their outstanding contribution to British music and integral part of British music culture. He and the Beatles were awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for recording at 7080 Hollywood Boulevard. He was appointed a Knight Bachelor in the 2018 New Year Honors for Services to Music. Great. Yeah, I do agree. <laughs> I love the music myself, and, you know, I'm amazed that, you know, every generation gets into us. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Sir Richard Starkey, but is also known as Ringo Starr. He was born July 7, 1940 in Liverpool, England, making him age 82 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.68 meters or 5 feet 6 inches tall. He's a vegetarian. He eats a lot of berries, lots of fruit, and lots of vegetables and salad. He's a fan of football and supports the football club Arsenal. Like George Harrison, he's a longtime fan of the comedy troupe Monty Python's Flying Circus. Star even appeared in an episode of the series. Star cites drummers Jim Keltner and Cozy Cole as major influences on his career as the Beatles drummer. Star and Keltner performed as a team at the concert for Bangladesh, and Keltner played drums on Star's Rota Gravur album. He wrote the song Octopus Garden while on vacation. He claims to have got the idea for the song after conversing with a chef about octopi. He's three months older than John Lennon, who founded the Beatles, and the last to join the group, technically making him both the oldest and youngest Beatle. He's naturally left-handed, but his grandmother corrected him, and he now writes right-handed. However, he plays left-handed with a right-handed drum set and makes unusual accents and stops. In 1985, he accepted the role of Lock Walls on Guiding Light, but pulled out at the last minute. The role was recast with Jeremy Slate. Starr mystified many of his contemporaries with his practice of draping light towels over his snare drum in order to deaden the characteristic timbre of his instrument. He famously removed the front skin of his bass drum and stuffed the cavity with cushions to deepen the punch of the bass sound. His catchphrase and motto for life is peace and love. He was a close friend of Keith Moon, the legendary drummer of The Who. The two shared a house in California in the mid-1970s with John Lennon and Harry Nielsen while they worked on each other's records. In 1965, Ringo Starr married Maureen Cox. Beatles manager Brian Epstein was the best man. His stepfather, Harry Graves, and George Harrison were witnesses. The couple had three children, Zach, Jason, and Lee. The couple divorced in 1975 after Starr's repeated infidelities. He later admitted to being a drunk, a wife beater, and an absent father. Maureen passed away in 1994 at 48 from leukemia. In 1980, Starr met actress Barbara Bach on the set of the film Caveman. They married on April 27, 1981. Starr has eight grandchildren, one from Zach, four from Jason, and three from Lee. In 2016, he was the first Beatle to become a great-grandfather. They had to lower the bass. They'd always take the bass drum off, so there's no bass drum everywhere. But the new mastering of all our records now, the sound is great. He's the only child of confectioners Richard and Elsie Glee. His parents separated and divorced when Ringo was a young boy. His father wasn't involved with his son after the divorce, and Ringo's mom took on house cleaning jobs before getting a job as a barmaid. When Ringo was six, he had a routine appendectomy for his appendicitis. In 1954, Ringo's mother married Harry Graves, a huge fan of big band music. He introduced Ringo to recordings by Dinah Shore, Sarah Vaughn, and Billy Daniels. His stepfather got him a job as an apprentice machinist at Henry Hunt & Son, a Liverpool school equipment manufacturer, where he befriended Roy Trafford. The two bonded over their shared interest in music. It wasn't long before Ringo and Trafford began rehearsing songs during their lunch breaks. 
For Christmas 1957, Graves gave Ringo a second-hand drum kit. Over the next few years, Ringo developed his drumming skills and joined a number of local bands, including Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. It was at this time that he changed his name to Ringo Starr. By 1960, the Hurricanes were one of the most popular bands in Liverpool. Ringo was with the Hurricanes when he first met the Beatles in October 1960. On October 15, 1960, he drummed with John Lennon, Paul McCartney, and George Harrison, recording with them for the first time. He joined the Beatles in 1962, replacing Pete Best as the drummer. He sang lead on several Beatles tracks, including With a Little Help from My Friends, Yellow Submarine, Good Night, I Want to Be Your Man, Boys, and their cover of Act Naturally. He wrote Don't Pass Me By in Octopus's Garden. After the Beatles' breakup in 1970, Starr began a prolific solo career, releasing 15 studio albums by 2010 and collaborating with a number of artists, including former bandmate Paul McCartney. He's also appeared in a number of films, both with the Beatles and in the time after their split, and he narrated the children's television programs Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends and Shining Time Station for two seasons each, eventually winning an Emmy Award for Shining Time Station. In September 2021, he released another EP entitled Change the World. In February 2022, Starr announced his intention to return to touring with his band for the first time since 2019. Six months. Oh, six months. So yeah. she's still yet before... Well, she, she's my granddaughter. I have a great-grandson who is five. In 2020, he was cited as the wealthiest drummer in the world. Though Paul McCartney is the most successful former member of the Beatles, Ringo actually had more solo U.S. Top 10 hits. In 2013, more than 30 years after the Beatles broke up, Starr brought in $3 million from touring and record sales. Today, he can easily make $3 to $5 million per year with just a few live appearances. He has a net worth of $350 million. In 1971, Starr bought John Lennon's home, Tittenhurst Park, at Sunning Hill in Berkshire, and moved his family there. Starr and Bach split their time between homes in Los Angeles, Cranley, England, and Monte Carlo. In 1999, he purchased a mansion in Cranley, Surrey. The property comprises a 17th century mansion surrounded by 200 acres of land, which includes gardens and ponds. It's been extensively renovated with the help of famed interior designer Nicky Halsam. As you'd expect, Ringo Starr wanted a music room for his gold records and drum kits, but also another large music room for performances. On a more conventional note, there's also a great kitchen in addition to the eight bedrooms and seven bathrooms. No expense was spared in the designing and fitting of the main house, which additionally includes an indoor pool, a spa with a starry roof, a fitness room, and a Turkish bath. There's even a helipad, which isn't too surprising given the home's level of luxury. He also has a home in the Chelsea District of London off King's Road. He owns the following cars, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, an Aston Martin DB5, a Mini Cooper, a Facile Vega 2 Coupe, a Ford. 